Here for another Grizzly Spotlight covered by ATI Physical Therapy alongside infielder Jeff Cardenas. I'm Roddy Rogers. And Jeff, for starters, talk about the Frontier League draft. You were the first round selection, seventh overall pick. You were the second pick by the Grizzlies in the 2018 draft. Just talk about what the draft really entails and what you were doing on that day. Uh, well, that day it was pretty rough because it started raining and they still wanted to get the draft going. And, uh, you know, I had some experience with the tryouts, I guess, and I felt comfortable going there because they saw me earlier and they planned on picking me up. So I just had to, you know, keep it simple, do my thing like I did here. And, you know, they drafted me and kind of knew what I was going through and felt good. And then let's talk about that next step. After you were drafted, then you were a part of the team, and you're one of the only guys that are still with the team yeah. to, uh, to state that as well. A utility infielder, which makes you a, a very highly valued weapon out there in the field because you can really be put at any position. Uh, primarily, we've seen you at third as of mm -hmm. late. Just talk about that and uh, how you're growing into that position. And then also at the plate, you've also started to heat up now toward the latter half of the season and how important that is as we head in toward the last week. Yeah, uh, coming in spring training, you know, I didn't know what to think, and I just still needed to try to make the team because, you know, it's no guarantee you get drafted, and, you know, you made the team. You still got to, you know, do your thing, spring training, and see if you make the final cut. And, you know, I was just playing, did my thing, keep it simple, and, you know, made the cut and just wanted to make that starting roster spot and finally, you know, Getting through more games, you know, getting more ABs, felt confident at the play and finally got my starting spot role and, you know, just trying to continue to heat up and see where it goes from there. And the start of that heat up success all came about when you changed up your pants yeah. during a game. Uh, you went from the loose fitting to the, uh, the, the elastic bottom to the pants just so it kind of wrapped around your ankles. What, what was the transition period like that, like that for you? I don't know. I, they were just hanging around in the locker room, and I was just like, you know, I'll just give it a try. I'll try them on. And, you know, I tried them on. I felt, you know, like, I guess. A like resurgence. A, I guess uh, like a bigger player because they're tighter pants. And uh, so I just ran with it, and, you know, it's given me good luck so far, and, you know, I'm just going to continue wearing them. And then with that, you must be the goofball of the locker room then, just to take a random pair of pants and just throw them on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, everyone's like, who's going to wear these pants now? Because they've been like... Were you the guy that raised his hand? And I was the first one. I'm like, let me give him a try. I mean, you know, you see major leaguers, they're wearing the tweeners now, like Kiki Hernandez, uh, Bryce Harper, and so I was just like, you know what? Uh, I'll just throw them on, see it, what you know really feels like, and you know it's been successful so far to me. And then finally, for our last question, we want to wrap this thing all together full circle. We talked about you being this fun guy of the locker room after grabbing this random pair of pants off the hanger. Justin Ellison, in a previous spotlight, stated that you are the second best player, video game player, Fortnite player, even used in uh, in the locker room. Do you agree with that, or do you think you could take on Brent Sakurai any day, who he put at number one? Uh, Brent, I mean, we've been playing together as of lately, and he's, you know, he's a pretty good player. Uh, but honestly, the the low key guy is Shane. Shane is a really good Fortnite player, and so he's definitely up there. But you know, it's always a good time playing with Saki too. Well, great, you great, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you so much. I appreciate it's just a fun, fun time having you here. This was uh, your Grizzly Spotlight, covered by ATI Physical Therapy.